come and sit here. Right. Now this instrument is really strange because when you learn a piano, you sit in front of middle C. But for this instrument, middle C is down here. And with your foot, if you find when near the C and play it a couple of times, it's up there. So it's very quirky in that middle C is not where you expect it to be. Then the other thing, the first thing that, that uh, Wendy will learn is that we don't play with fingers, we play with fists. So our fist is put like this. Yeah. And we have to be able to move it up and down, so move it up and down, in and out, and round and round. And we're actually the same as a drummer or someone who's a, a xylophone player because they play like this, which is how we play, except they have a mallet, we don't. But it's the exact same movement as somebody who's playing a xylophone. So we then take the fist and we put it here on the note. And we just put the note down a little bit and then play it. Try that. Beautiful. Now, if you're looking closely at this little bit of feeling, uh, filming, you'll notice that Wendy used her fist like that when she played. Do it again. Which is perfect. Which is completely different to if you decide to play like that with no and a stiff whatnot. But because when he's learning to play with the note like this, it means that there's greater tonal control. You can make the instrument or the main bells make all sorts of beautiful sounds because you're relaxed and have that nice percussion. So now we need to go to this book here, which is written by Mr. Lane to Hart. And some people have donated some music to um, the Bathurst Pavilion. And this is one of the books, so a very important book, that will stay here in Bathurst for the next 100 years. So, let's have a look at number one. Let's start with number one. What are you going to do with that, Wendy? So, if that's middle C down there. Yes. So then, that's where it starts. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah, just, just do it. Right. Just do it. Do what you think. So we just had a little look at some of the things that we learn when we first start this instrument because it's very different to any other instrument. You're dealing with the weight of a clapper, and um, which is why we play it a certain way. But now let's just see what this practice instrument sounds like when we try and play a melody on it or a little, a little flourish. We'll call it a little flourish. So we're just getting acquainted with what it sounds like, what it feels like, how it plays. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. So shall I try this yes, again? Let's see uh... if I can make a better job of it. Um see. 